Hi, I'm David Maldo from Telepresence Options. Last week I visited the CES trade show in Las Vegas without leaving my location in Florida by using a Vigo Telepresence robot. I put together a few clips of what I saw, so check out the Vigo experience from my perspective. Hi, David. Hello, hey. I'm Ned. Ned, how's it going? Nice to meet you face to face. <laughs> yeah, same to you as well. This is great. Welcome to see, yes. I'm in Vegas. <laughs> you are. Uh, if you turn a little bit to your left, you can see uh, Angela, who's in uh, in Boston. Hello. So Angela Hello, works Angela. for for Vigo. How are you? So, Good morning, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. I'm David Maldo from Telepresence Options. Ah, terrific. Thanks for joining us here at the show. Yeah, having a great time. I, I, I'm glad I was able to make it to Vegas this year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yep. So Jess is responsible for all of the partners that are integrating uh, uh, 4G into their, into their applications. And okay. we've been working with him for what, six months now. Um, Thereabouts. Yeah, so he introduced us to the partners that we needed to go to to embed the technology inside, and then we've been through a certification process to make sure that we deliver the quality that Verizon expects. And uh, now we're here at the show. So you're you're on a 4G unit. I think this is the first time it's been demonstrated publicly, and uh, will be uh, the feature will be commercially available in a few weeks. Okay, so this is going to free up your users yeah, so, to go so, beyond the Wi-Fi. Yeah, and, e and even more than that, we, we find that we, when we go to different places, the implementations of Wi-Fi, they're all over the map. Yeah. You know, some of, the, some of them are excellent, and some of them are just awful. And we never know what we're going to get until, until we get there. So now someone can get a unit with 4G embedded, take it out of the box, and it works. Anyway. Uh, every time. Yeah. That, and that's going to be great. Yeah. That's what right. is, what is the the coolest use case you've seen? The the one that wow, I never thought someone would use our, our robot like this. That's awesome. Is there anything that's been a, totally unexpected or just really cool? Just, well, there's a lot. Um, the, the one that we we get the most uh, publicity around that tends to pull at the heartstrings are students who can't go to school for some reason or another, and now with Vigo they can they can, and ah, this hasn't exactly. been really a target market for us because. You know, schools don't have any money, and you know how how are other t kids going to treat the unit and all that? So, but it's happened on its own, um, and so there's a, there's I think there's about 20 kids now in the United States and more coming um, who have a disease or an injury or a particular health condition where they're home or in the hospital, and typically the school is sending a, a tutor to the home. So the school is actually saving money as a result of this, and the big thing that we hear from the families is it's not so much that the kids getting school, but they're there with their friends. Yeah. And, they, and, and you know, the, the bell rings at the end of the class and they drive out in the hall and they hang out with their friends. And there was this one kid who hadn't seen any other kids in like two years. Um, we, we, there, there's a few students that had never ever been to school at all. Mm. Um, there's a first grader who, you know, the kid's like eight years old, had a double lung transplant, who's using one. So um, those are the ones that really, really warm the heart. You know, a part of what I find interesting about this story is that you, what you say is, this is not a use case that you went after. Right. Right. You know, it's that the technology is there and now being available, it enables, and the market finds niches where, you know, hey, I, that's exactly what I need. Right. And as we move from now, a, um, that opportunity, but confined to Wi-Fi, Certainly use it in that Wi-Fi mode where it makes sense. But now, untethered even that, um, you know, again, the market's going to find new use cases where, oh, that's exactly what I need to solve whatever my problem is. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to play blackjack by robot, but I still had fun. Thanks, Ned, Louise, and the rest of the Vigo team for setting me up, and thank you for watching.